Hi there everybody, my name is Bo Exile. Welcome to a new in real life video. I'm bringing back a little bit of football. I'll be bringing back maybe some parodies, you know. It's, it's summertime, so I'm going to be going outside, doing some stuff, bringing some stuff on the table. Of course, I'll be doing my gaming videos as usual, because uh, that's kind of my thing. But today, I'm going to be talking about the World Cup that is uh, incoming. Uh, less than a month now, just about. So I'm going to give you my predictions and also talk about the key players for this tournament and who has the best chance of winning the World Cup 2018. So in Group A, there is Egypt. Egypt, they have um, well, Mohamed Salah that has won the PFA Player of the Year. He was excellent. Maybe he has a chance to get Ballon d'Or. Who knows? Then there's Uruguay that have a pretty solid defence. They got Jago Godin. In midfield, not that great, but then again, in attack, they do have Luis Suarez. And then Saudi Arabia, don't know a lot about them. Pretty good for them to actually be in the World Cup. And then the World Cup holders, Russia. Possibly it's going to be Uruguay, Russia going to get third, and Saudi Arabia are going to be fourth. I'd even put Russia last because their team is horrible. Apart from, like, Akinfeev, that isn't that bad a keeper. He's not world class, but... No, they got no one. They have no one in attack. They've got one good midfielder, and that's about it. So, don't see them going really far in their own tournament. And then Group B, who do we have? We have Spain, Morocco, Portugal, and Iran. Now, this is probably staged. They wanted Spain against Portugal. But Spain, they're not as good as they were in 2010. I think Iniesta's still playing, even if he's retired for Barcelona. Their defence is okay. I don't know who's in goal. Oh, De Gea, that's not bad, actually. And then there's Iran. Congratulations to them for even making the World Cup again. And Morocco. I don't know. It's like Portugal may have won the Euro 2016. I, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm going to put Spain first. Maybe Morocco and Iran last. Sorry to say that. And in then in Group C, we got France who made it to the finals. So I say France is going to get the first place. Of course, it's a bit biased, but have you seen France's squad? It's insane. Although Peru could be a sort of like, you know, underdog like Costa Rica was four years ago. But then again, I find that Denmark has a pretty good squad. I mean, you try and take the best teams, but then some teams like, you know, England, they lost against Iceland 2016. So a bit, 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 bit shite, you know. Ooh, that's a, that's a good group, actually. You've got Iceland, Argentina, Croatia, and Nigeria. Whilst, of course, the favourites would be Argentina and Croatia. Okay, this is going to sound crazy, but I'm going to put Argentina first, because they finished runners-up in 2014. Nigeria second. Even if Croatia have Rakitic, they have Modric, and a pretty decent squad, I'll say they're going to finish third. And Iceland, I'm sorry, but they're going to finish fourth, because in the Euros, they had an easier group, but... I don't see them cruising past Argentina, Nigeria or Croatia. And in Group E, a bit of a dull one really, it's not that interesting, there's Brazil. Uh, yeah, they can they can go pretty far, they can even well, win this tournament in my opinion. Um, Serbia, Switzerland, Costa Rica. You see, Costa Rica is another dark horse. Switzerland will be able to get second or completely be thrashed uh, in the knockout stages. Uh, Costa Rica third and Serbia fourth because they have an aging defence with Vanovic and Kolarov. And not a lot of creativity in the midfield. So, yeah, Germany, of course, they still got the same players um, that got them the victory last time. And then I'd say it has to be between Sweden and Mexico. Mexico, they're always there. Sometimes they get into the knockout stages. And then Sweden, even if they don't have Ibrahimovic, Latan. I say Sweden going to get second, Mexico third, and North Korea. Republic, they're going to finish fourth. And Group G, wow. This is so interesting. Belgium, England, Panama and Tunisia. I don't really expect them to finish first because there still is Belgium. You know, you've got De Bruyne, you got Hazard. I mean, they have a lot of potential. Their manager's okay. They just don't play that well together. Maybe they, they'll be able to improve on that. Yeah, they'll still finish first. England, as usual, will get into uh, second place. Seriously, I see Panama finishing third and Tunisia being last. And the last one... Uh, group H, we've got Senegal, Poland, Colombia, and Japan. Uh, whilst these aren't the best teams in the world, it's probably the most interesting group because, you know, they're all a bit mixed up. You've got Poland, you've got a few players like Lewandowski, you've got Kriowiak, you've got Picek. So, you know, they have good defenders, they have um, pretty decent midfielders and attackers. Uh, Senegal, they have like Sadio Mane, Colombia has uh, James Rodriguez, and then Japan has no one. 
This is a complicated one. Probably first would be Poland. Then between Senegal and Colombia, it's really 50-50. I, I would really like to see Senegal finish second, uh, Colombia third, and Japan get completely can destroy the base as our teams. So now bearing in mind this is based on my predictions, so I'd be really astonished if the final, like, you know, knockout stages would look like this. But we've got some interesting ones. We're going to start off with Uruguay, Portugal. Portugal will just about get something. They're not going to win the World Cup, really. They can't. They're a bit of a boring team to watch, but I respect Ronaldo. And then we've got France, Nigeria. So even if Nigeria are strong, I'd be astonished that they can't get to the finals. Or at least the semi-finals with um, the quality they have. Uh, Brazil, Sweden, pretty much of a no-brainer. Belgium, Senegal's a bit of a difficult one. I see Senegal getting through, beating Belgium. Uh, Spain, Egypt. Problem is Egypt, they don't even have Mohamed El Neni. They don't have um, that defensive midfielder that was pretty important since he, uh, he injured himself. They do have Salah, maybe he can create some magic. But Spain, even if Morata isn't like, at his best, they still have Jogo Costa, right? But Spain, a bit better than Egypt. Uh, Argentina, Denmark. I don't know. I mean, if Messi and co. really, like, mess up against Denmark or some other team uh, only in the last 16, he's going to retire from international football again. And this time, probably definitely. So, they're going to cruise their way past Denmark. Uh, Germany, Switzerland. Yeah, Germany going to beat them. And England, Poland. So, yeah, let's just say England for the banter. <laughs> Probably won't even get past the group stages. Uh, Portugal, France. Maybe this time France will be able to get their revenge on the Euro 2016. Brazil are going to beat Senegal. Spain, Argentina. Argentina go through. Here, well, Germany going to beat England. I mean, as if England's going to get anything. Here, Germany goes through. Mm, that's a difficult one. France go through and France are going to beat Germany. If France can't at least get to the semis, I'm going to be highly disappointed. But as I'm for England and France, at least if like one of my teams can get to the final. Or at least, you know, show some good football. That's the, the thing. If we, we fight, we give our all and we can get some results, it's fine by me. There you go. Those are my predictions. I'll be reacting to them in like two months time when the World Cup will be over. I hope I'm not too off course, you know. I'll be bringing back some in real life videos. Name's Barksar. See you in the next one.